Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Saturday. My name is Jeff, and I'll be a spokesman from theboxman.com, where we have changed the way that you should watch TV. And in this video, on this nice Saturday morning, we're going to take a look at the two things that will help you block advertisements off of your Android devices. So let's take a look at that. Hey guys, this is Jeff again. Thank you so much for spending this Saturday morning with us. You can find us at the Stream Machines YouTube channel where we take the difficult things of streaming and make them easy for you one video at a time. We'll be placing this also on the other um, platforms that we have. Uh, the link will be in the de description of the video. But right now, I want to take a look at ad blocking. Ad blocking is a big thing, or could be a big thing, if you don't get a hold of it. Just like your Android devices. Your Android devices or smart devices are just like our laptops and our phones. Advertising is the way of life on the internet. Especially since Google is the king of streaming. If you have a Google certified device or any type of Google um, apps or, you know, just different things from Google, advertising is a big thing. Now, what I'm using right now is my Formula GTV. And lately, I've been talking about the Formula Z11 Pro Max, but my GTV is still my go-to device. I love Google. I don't like what Google has done to YouTube, but I love Google. I have a Google phone. I have a Pixel 7, about to get a Pixel 8. I love Google because Google just, when they first started, they just gave everything away for free. And that's how we fell in love with them. But when it comes to streaming, ads are everywhere. And so I and our customers, we use an, uh, an application called Blockada. So that's the number one thing you can do is to put an ad on your, an app on your device. I have used Blockada for about four to five years and it has been a go-to now recently blockada and i'll put a link to their website they've changed where they're gone to more of a device type like android devices apple devices um, so their upgrades from blockada 4 which is right here is when i click on it you can see in blockada 4 that i have blocked over 563,847 ads blocked and it's active it's this this version is not even on their website but they still keep it running for old android users i had a person jump in on our youtube one of my videos and said hey i wish you would show something about blockade of four because blockade of four is no longer on their website and i didn't know that but he's absolutely right only blockade of five and blockade of six is there and so you'll see that when you go to their website it's really for looks like devices so blockade of four is active and it still works and i love blockade of four because it gave a dns it, you can change your dns and then i have my blockade of tunnel which is my vpn from them and I can just turn that on right now and I can use their gateways. I choose to use Blockada Tunnel because it, it works really well with the devices that I have. So this, as you can see, I'm connected to New York. So that's one way of doing it. Now, there's several different ad blockers that we're going to take a look at. Total ad blocker, we'll take a look at in the next couple of videos. Next video, Proton VPN. NetShield is another good ad blocker. So if you have a paid version of Proton VPN, NetShield is included in uh, the paid version of uh, the ad blocker is included into the paid version. Now, that's the first thing. You should understand that streaming is coming to a place where you have to pay for these services. And if you want a, you know, a flawless type of experience, 
You're going to have to figure that out. Now, if you're a current customer of ours, you can get Blockade 4. We got a, a, an unlinked store, and you get that once you purchase something from us along with our you know, superior support. So um, we keep the Blockade 4 as long as it's working. Now, there's a, num there's a second way for you to absolutely block ads absolutely free. And I'm going to show you how to do that on any Android device, especially on now a GTV or something like that. This is an Android device. And what you have to do is to go into the settings. So I'll put the instructions at the end of the video, what you'll need to do. But first thing you want to do is you want to find your settings cog on your device. Mine on my GTV is to, at the top right. I'm going to press, press OK. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to device preferences, highlight that, and press OK. The next thing you want to do is highlight about, press OK. Then you want to go to legal information, highlight that, and press OK. Then you want to go to ads, press OK. As you can see, you have a, an advertising ID that populates once you set up your unit. If you want to get rid of your advertising ID, you just go down, let me get rid of, or up, to delete advertising ID, press OK. It'll give you some information on the current advertising ID. Apps can uh, still show ads, right? But they may not be as relevant or interesting to you. Okay. Apps use the device's advertising ID to show you personalized ads. When you lose personalization, it means you have less control over the type of ads you see. So you, this is one place that you can get rid of the advertising ID to slow down the ads. So if you do this and get an ad blocker, whether it be Blockade 4 or you know one of the ones we're going to go over from Proton VPN or Total Ad Blocker, um, which I'll preview in the next video, this will look, uh, this will take care of all the ads that come on these devices. So I'm not going to delete it because I don't mind it. I have a great ad blocker, as you've seen on Blockada. So they can personalize all they want. They're not coming to me when over half a million ads have been blocked. And that's really cool. So I'll go back to the home page. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you. It's just a really quick way for us to show you some value and some of the things that you might know about and some of the things you may not know about. But I do know this. We do have some Android devices less than 30 days old that I can resell to you for just $75. And that includes, I believe, some of the services that might be on them. Now, I think I made a video about it, but I will make sure that I do. And the reason I'm doing that is because some people send back, back the units less than 30 days old. There's nothing wrong with the units, but they maybe ripped up the outside of the box or ripped up some things that you can't really sell it for top dollar, or I wouldn't. But I would give someone a $120 box retail for $75, and the service that they brought on it is up to you to keep. So if you're interested in something like that, I can get, I'll show you in the next video pictures and things of that nature so you can see what we're talking about or make a little short video of the ones that we have for sale. In the meantime, you can go to our um our, our number, our, our toll-free number in the uh, in the description of the video. And if you're interested in any of our boxes, you could go to our website. You could do and and really get in touch with us because we have some really great devices that I'll preview, including this great GTV. This boy is probably one of the best devices I've ever used, and I love other devices as well. So don't keep us a secret. We look forward to getting to know you. But more importantly, get to know your device, stop all the annoying ads, and enjoy.